<sighs> All right, little knives, little knives. Um, yeah. Why well, I, I like little knives. You know, they're not they're not that great, but uh, they're not that bad either. And I think that sometimes little knives can still pack a punch, and little knives can still do a lot of things that big knives can do too. So we gotta give them some love, you know what I mean? So right now, let's get into it, everybody. Let's talk blades, because that's what we're into today. I have for you guys and gals the CRKT Spew. <laughs> I know, it's a little bit... Oh, come on. It's a little bit... Ugh, that was rough. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit weird uh, name, but uh, it does mean something. So, here it is. Spew. And yes, it's a false design. And I'm sure this kind of rings a bell to uh, one of my videos about uh, a little minimalist, right? And uh, if you haven't, well, here it is. I'm going to bring it in. Here is the also another Foltz design. The CRKT. Let me get the focus. Minimalist. So, yeah. Great knife. I love the way it feels in the hand. All that good and happy jargon schnaff. There it is. The spew. So you're probably wondering, what does that stand for? It stands for... Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, now I remember. All right. I had to think about that. It stands for Small Pocket Everyday Carry Warncliffe. Got that right? Yeah. Small pocket everyday Warren Cliff. And yeah, Warren Cliff design. Um, this one's a little bit aggressive, though, I gotta say. This is really, really pointy stabby. But uh, I think that just sends all more appeal to anything else. You got your textured G10 handle scales right here. And you got your little tail, whatever you want to call that, your lanyard braid that's been uh, attached and it yes it does come with as far as i'm concerned or as far as i know anyways uh any minimalist kind of related looking knife will come with a little weird braided tail <laughs> which is great here it is in my hand um you get a decent fit in the hand i can get three fingers and this one kind of just sits in between the end of the handle and the lanyard tail you got a little bit of jimping up top here which i think is great you'll see rkt makes some pretty interesting stuff after all and this feels quite comfortable in the hand of course here is the sheath it's your standard kydex and of course it comes with a little bit of a belt loop thing here, which is interchangeable. You can put it however way you want. And I think that's kind of nice. Um, now this knife, as far as I'm concerned, goes for around about $35, $40. As far as I know anyways, about $35, yeah, $35.99. I think it's the listing right now. In some places it might be cheaper, it might be more. It depends on where you go. But um, this is the kind of knife that uh, kind of screams a little bit more. And I don't know what it is, but uh, this sheath is really secure. You can hear an audible. And of course, I'm sure you can already figure that out. It's great. It's fantastic. If you're into small knives, you're into minimalist kind of knives, this knife might be for you. So we'll go ahead and get into the specs of that knife. This knife, excuse me. All right, so we'll get into the weight with the sheath and without, so you guys have a good idea of how much it all comes out to. So 2.50 ounces with the sheath. Without the sheath, you're looking at a 1.74 ounces just for the knife. Not bad. Actually, really not bad. Way under 2 ounces for this bad boy right here. Right here. And we'll get into the measurements. So you're looking at a 2.74, a little bit over. But right now I want to say about a 3-inch reach if you're holding the knife without choking up in any dangerous way. With an overall length of, uh, give or take, I want to add that little tail in there. I want to see how... 
So a total of seven and a half inches all together. Um, just holding it anyways. You got that reach. Not bad. Blade steel is kind of on par. Um, I believe a lot of CRKT blade steels are all the same. But uh, that's, you know, it's the give or take. Most blade steels anyways. Wake up. What you doing? Right, let's see here. I want to try and see. Okay, yeah, so... The blade steel is a 5CR15 MOV steel. 5CR15 MOV steel. Um, not too familiar with that. I uh, haven't really... I've, I carry this a couple of times, but I haven't really bared down on it. I haven't really used it for too much. Um, I don't know if it's really an adequate steel. I think it's just one of their cheaper steels. I can't really say if it's a good or bad steel through my opinion because I'm a very light user when it comes to my knives. I collect them. I, I try not to beat them up too much. Unless I have doubles of a knife or I have something similar or cheaper, then a good beater knife is a good beater knife. Especially when you know that you're not going to care too much when uh, you can just easily replace it if something ever happened to it. So Yeah, that goes in every way. You can take it, leave it. I don't care. <laughs> That's just how I operate. Um... Uh, the thing is about this knife, though, is this a good EDC? Well, I live in Southern California, so um, I think the uh, law is that all fixed blades need to be visible. Um, you cannot have your shirt over it. It needs to be in full plain view. Uh, you might have to hang this around a neck chain of some kind. Um or it needs to be on the outside of your belt without your shirt or jacket or whatever covering it on your belt line. It needs to be out so everyone can see it. Uh, and I think that goes for any and all fixed blades, at least in my area. I could be wrong, but um, that argument was kind of had between a police officer and I about uh, certain knife things. He's a knife buddy of mine. And he told me, you know, there's a lot of gray area when it comes to knives uh, in this state because there just seems to be just a whole bunch of funky other weird laws going around, you know, about guns and you know, knives and what you can carry, what you can't. This state is pretty weird, I gotta tell you. Is it bad? Is it good? Well, I guess that all really depends on you, on how your take is, uh, whether or not you want to be that kind of guy. I'll get into that in another episode if I really feel it necessary. I cannot believe that just shot on my floor. Escoozy. All right. Put that back in frame. We'll go ahead and get into the width of things here. So on the handle side, you are looking at a 8.6. At the blade, you are looking at a 2.2. For a small knife, um, this thing is kind of intimidating. Holding it the way that you're supposed to hold it, you still got a decent amount of blade right there. And as Nick Shabazz would say, and I, I love watching his channel, if I'm not doing anything, I learn from that guy uh, with his knife channel. He is entertaining, and I absolutely love his content. He's one of the reasons why I became a YouTuber. Him and uh, if you go to uh, Little Big Synths, uh, his channel, he makes music. Uh, he's a guy that I actually used to work with. Uh, really, really solid dude. He's one of the re other reasons why I'm a YouTuber. So uh, I'm still growing, I'm still learning, and I'm still making what I can and doing what I can to make this channel what it is and more. And uh, because of those two guys, man, I, I, <laughs> I'm I, here now doing what I like and what I love. So with the things that I like and love. <laughs> Anyways... I wasn't planning on saying too much, but uh, Nick Shabazz said it best. If you got little bitch hands, <laughs> this might actually be good for you. Um, I absolutely love watching that guy's content. He is fantastic. He's entertaining, and when I'm having a bad day, he knows how to lighten it up when he talks his knives. And, uh, man, I wish I knew that guy. That'd be really cool. Really, really cool. Nick Shabazz is hilarious. That guy's got fantastic content. So, anyways, CRKT Spew. 
That's my take on it. If you're interested in it, go ahead and look it up. You can still find it on Amazon, one of the most typical places. You can find it all over the place, actually, including this guy right here, The Minimalist, if you're interested in that as well. Small knives for little bitch hands. <laughs> Anyways, slash that like button, stab that subscribe. As always, be kind, be safe, and please carry it responsibly. And I will see you guys in another video.